Welcome and thanks for joining me on this quick video on how to create your signature stamps in Power PDF. Power PDF has a very strong stamps functionality and out of the box Power PDF has many useful pre-configured stamps which can be accessed via the side panel as in the screenshot here. New stamps can easily be created by users for repeated use and users can also create their own signatures as stamps for quickly signing any PDF files. Signatures can be placed as stamps or can be placed as comments via the security panel. The online documentation linked here also contains detailed instruction on how to create these stamps. To get started with creating your own signature as stamp, you need to get the image of your signature onto the PC where Power PDF is installed. This can be done in two easy ways. If you have access to a multifunction device, you can sign a blank piece of paper using the MFP printer scanner, scan back to yourself and save this on the computer to create stamps. If you have access to a mobile device, you can easily create your stamp using the Notes app, crop the signature to your size and share this screenshot to yourself via email or any other option. Once we have these images on our computer, we can utilize Power PDF to create our stamp, which I will demonstrate next. Once you have created your signature images and saved them on your computer, you can utilize Power PDF to create your signature stamps. To create your stamp in Power PDF, launch Power PDF, open the stamps panel. On the top left, you can see various options. Click on the create option to create your new stamp. We have different options from here. The first option is to browse to the file that you have saved on your computers with your signature. Uh, make sure to switch from PDF files to all files to see image based files and choose the image that you want to create as your signature. Before going ahead and naming this, choose this apply transparency option and click on any white space to create this stamp as a transparent stamp. Choose the option to save this in the standard group, give it a name that you like and by clicking OK this signature can be saved as a stamp which can then be utilized by placing on PDF files. Another way to create stamp from an existing PDF file is by opening your PDF file which contains your signature. Go to the edit options, choose the select area tool and draw a box over the image which you want to create as your stamp. Right click to reveal the menu and choose the create stamp option which brings the same panel as before. Again apply transparency on the white space. Choose the group that you want to save into and give it a name like before. So once you have created your stamps, now it is very easy to place these stamps on any document. Open the PDF file that you would want to stamp on or sign on. Open your signature panel. Choose the signature that you want to sign with and draw a box over the space available for you to sign. When small space is available, you can draw a small box and when large spaces are available, you can draw larger box. So the stamp option allows you to fit your stamp into the available space. That's how simple it is to create stamps. You can also create more advanced dynamic stamps with Power PDF, which can take prompts and utilize those values to create a stamp. This is described in detail in another video which on is available in the Cofax Demo Center. 
please check out Kofax Demo Center where videos for Power PDF and other Kofax products are available for quick learning. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.